Hi book lovers, welcome back to my channel. I have a giant book haul to share with you all today. This is my September book haul. I am currently surrounded by all of my books and packages because I went on vacation last month and these packages just kept stockpiling up. So I have a bunch of stuff to unbox today. You'll get to see the books that I get in the mail alongside with me, all the books that publishers sent my way, all the books that I bought for myself, the new special editions that I have to show off. So I always like to start off with the new arcs that I got in the mail. A couple of these are out already, I think, but the ones that are not are these two. This arc is coming out in December. It's Second Chances in Newport Stephen by TJ Alexander. It's an MM romance and it's set on a beach in Florida during Christmas. So if you need a Christmas or holiday romance to add to your TBR for this upcoming season, this one is perfect. Obviously from this title, it's a second chance romance. It's between two high school exes. One is now a TV writer and comedian and the other one is a single dad. And then the other arc that I got is a 2024 one. It's Expiration Dates by Rebecca Searle. It's a very pretty arc. There's like foiling on it. Obviously for the big authors, they can afford to make their arcs very pretty. I have not read Rebecca Searle yet. She wrote in five years, which was a pretty big a couple years ago. She's one of those popular fiction authors that always does well. This one sounds interesting. So in this one, the heroine, every time she meets a new man, she receives a slip of paper with his name and a number on it, the exact amount of time they will be together until she finally meets a man and she gets a slip of paper with no expiration date on it. It seems like there's some magical element to this one. It's not entirely contemporary, but it's a really interesting premise. And then the other two arcs that I got that I'm pretty sure are both already out. This one is Best Frenemies by Max Monroe. It's enemies to lovers. The main characters, they are both teachers, and while they go on vacation during spring break, they accidentally get double booked, so they're forced to share the same room and the same bed for their vacation. And then the other one is The Paris Roommates by Ava Miles. This one is a woman's fiction book. It's also a foodie book. The heroine is a baker and she's always dreamed of owning her own bakery, but it still hasn't happened for her yet. All right, let me move on to this giant stack that is right next to me. These are all the new romances that publishers sent me. Okay, so this package very clearly and very nicely has the cover of the book that I'm sure is inside it. It's Clee Cute and it says nothing sexier than playing hard. Oh wow, okay, so we have some socks here, some soccer socks. This is so cute. These are some long knee-high socks, and it says cleat cute on one sock and a novel on the other sock. And of course it's yellow to match the socks on the cover. Here is a copy of the book, Cleat Cute by Meryl Wilsner. I am super excited to read this one. It's an FF soccer romance. The author I think has mentioned that it's got some Ted Lasso vibes. Both the main characters are on the same team and their relationship starts off as teammates with benefits. Also inside the book there is a book play with the author's signature and this yellow sock sticker. This is so cute though. I love this package. Next up is something from Entangled. Ooh, okay, so a new historical romance, Highland Surrender by Heather McCollum. It's a Highlander romance that is set in the 1590s. The hero is this Norse warrior and he's just been tasked with kidnapping the heroine. And then this package is from Penguin Random House. So this is a new fantasy romance, A Dawn of Onyx by Kate Golden. It came with a card with a note from the author and a map. On the back of it. So this one is the first in a new fantasy romance trilogy. The heroine is a prisoner and she has to partner up with another prisoner to get out. I feel like it's been a while since the last time Berkeley released a fantasy romance, so hopefully it'll be good. Before I dive into the rest of this video, I wanted to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Love Bonito. I absolutely love Love Bonito, so I'm super excited to be partnering up with them again today. I love their clothes, I love their style. You've probably seen me wearing them, not just in my videos, but 
in some posts that I make on Instagram. Love Bonito is a clothing brand that originated in Singapore and they create clothes for the Asian community. They design all their clothing to empower confidence through style. They're perfect for any occasion, whether you want to layer up for the fall, you have a wedding to attend, or you just want to look fierce for a work engagement. The brand is a female founded and female led company and I love how Asian representation matters to them in their clothes. They're known for their modern minimalist style and their thoughtful designs. Like you can look amazing and elegant while also having some deep pockets, which I always love. So layer up this season with Love Bonito. Get 15% off your next purchase of $100 or more at lovebonito.com and use promo code LBXLACY. So let me just show off some new Love Bonito items that I added to my wardrobe, including this adorable top that I'm currently wearing. It's this cotton crop camisole in this gorgeous periwinkle blue. I have it paired with these classic white cotton shorts. It comes with this brown belt. And since it is fall, I can layer this up with a cotton twill jacket. The olive color is perfect for the season or I I can also wear this super relaxed and soft knit cardigan. If dresses are more your style, Love Bonito has the cutest dresses. The one I'm wearing here is this flare dress. It's got some cutouts on the side and some beautiful crochet lace detailing at the hem. And last, I have this gorgeous brown midi dress. It's got these wide straps, also a cutout in the middle, and a nice slit. A big thank you to Love Bonito for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget you can use my code LBXLACY for 15% off your purchase of 100 dollars or more. The link to their site will be down in the description below and we can go back to the rest of this video. Here is another package from Entangled and the actual package is so cute. It says book mail and at the bottom they swap lives. It's an arc of Trading Places by Emily Duval. I have not heard of this author before but I already love this cover. The artwork is so cute. You can see the characters right side up here and then you flip them over upside down. And then on the back it says 10 things I hate about you meets the 80s comedy trading places when a socialite and a blue collar mechanic have to trade lives. Oh it already came out. The release date was September 26th so this should be interesting. The heroine is the socialite and she accidentally rear ends the hero so she's challenged to swap lives with him and it just sounds very fun. And then here's another package where they kind of put the cover on the package itself. I don't know if I can show you without showing my address but hopefully this works as you can tell it's wildfire related wildfire by hannah grace i already read the arc of this one and i really enjoyed it it was a lot better than icebreaker for me but here is the pretty finished copy it is so cute i love this cover artist so much so this is book two in the maple hill series it follows another character in the whole friend group the hero is a hockey player but i would not call this a hockey romance it's actually a summer camp romance the main characters are summer camp counselors it was very sweet and if you love shy heroes you will like this hero. Okay so the package came with some goodies. This sheet is origami dog instructions and then here's a card it says how to play drunk Jenga suggested dares by Robbie and JJ and on the back it's a wildfire playlist. It also came with this orange scrunchie and some hot cocoa and then this package is from Bloom. It's the new edition of block shots by Kennedy Ryan. These are the new publisher editions because Bloom picked up her whole hoop series and they've slowly been releasing one by one. Block Shot is book two and my personal favorite in the hoop series mainly because of how much I love Jared and his obsession with the heroine. It's a sports romance between two sports agents who've known each other since college and inside it came with this adorable sticker. It says the daughter of a lion is still a lion. This one is another cute little package. It says she's hated him since they were kids. He's missed her just as long and it's from Macmillan so St. Martin's Press probably and the book is Thank You for Sharing by Rachel Rooney cats. It's a friends to enemies to lovers romance. The main characters, they were friends 14 years ago, but then something happened at summer camp that ended their friendship. They reunite and they are still very bitter towards each other, but they are forced to work together for this museum. And then here's another book from St. Martin's Press. It's a historical romance, Every Duke Has His Day by Suzanne Enoch. It's got a very cutesy illustrated cover. It's a historical rom-com and it's about these two poodles. Both of the main characters, they each own a poodle except the heroine's poodle is kind of a demon dog so someone apparently 
tries to steal that dog away. And instead of stealing her dog, they end up accidentally stealing the hero's dog. So she helps him try to get him back. Here is another romance from St. Martin's Press. It's Maybe Once, Maybe Twice by Allison Rose Greenberg. It's a second chance romance that spans two decades. It sounds very intriguing. So the heroine makes this sort of promise where she's like, if we're still single when we're 35, we should get married. Except she makes that promise with two guys and they both show up when she's 35. One of the heroes is a hedge fund manager by day and aspiring rock singer by night. And the other hero is the heroine's first boyfriend who is now a famous actor. And then this package is from Simon & Schuster. It's an arc from MTV Entertainment Books. I did not know MTV published books. But this one is called The Breakup Vacation by Anna Garcia and it's out next year, March 2024. So this is a vacation romance in Cancun and the guy that she meets is this soccer player from Hawaii. And then here is another book from Berkeley. It's the gorgeous finished copy of Iris Kelly Doesn't Date by Ashley Herring Blake, who I have enjoyed so much. I'm so excited for Iris's book. Iris is the third and final heroine in this girl friend group. It's got a one night stand, fake dating, and it's all set on this much ado about nothing play that Iris is a part of. And the other heroine is her co-star. And then the next book I got is a holiday romance. It's called Snow Place Like Home by Lacey Baker. It's always fun when I see an author with my same name with the same spelling. It's a second chance holiday romance. The heroine, she gets roped into planning her town's Christmas tree auction and she has to do it alongside her ex. I got some more goodies from Bloom Books. These are the two new pretties from Mia Sheridan. It's actually my absolute favorite books from Mia Sheridan. Sheridan. It's a duet. Book one is Becoming Calder and book two is Finding Eden and it's about a cult. They were part of a cult. It's angsty and forbidden and so so beautiful. I love this duet so much. And then here I have something from Forever Romance. It's the finished copy of Snowden for Christmas by Jacqueline Snow. I got an arc of this one but I still have not read it. I think it was just too early to get into Christmas romances but I do want to read more of them soon. But this one is a holiday rom-com where the heroine gets snowed in with her grumpy neighbor. And then something else from Forever. This is Twisted Secrets by Katie Robert. This is book two, I think, in her old mafia romance series that is currently getting revamped and republished. So this one originally was called An Indecent Proposal. I read like the first two or three books in the series. I don't remember much about it. I do remember thinking that the series was okay. Not my favorite dark romance or mafia romance series, but not too bad. Here is the new cover for it. They definitely followed along her Dark Olympus series covers just because of how popular that series is. And then this box is from Berkeley. I got a bunch of their new romances that are about to come out. This one is Better Hate Than Never by Chloe Lise. It's book two in the Wilmot Sister series, the sequel to Two Wrongs Make a Right, and it's Childhood Enemies to Lovers. I still need to read Two Wrongs Make a Right. I have not read Chloe Lise since I read her debut. Here is Sweeten the Deal by Katie Shepard. It's an opposites attract romance where the heroine is 10 years younger than the hero, but she is also his sugar daddy because she just inherited two million dollars. It sounds pretty wild but I kind of love the sound of it. This is Guy's Girl by Emma Noyes. It's about a boy who couldn't love and the girl who wouldn't. And then this is The Takedown by Carly Walker. It's about an undercover CIA agent who is investigating her sister's criminal fiance and she ends up falling for the guy's bodyguard. And then this one is the new publisher edition of Broken Prince by Aaron Watt. This is the new publisher edition because Berkeley picked up the whole Royal series. They did keep the original covers though, which is always nice. There's a quick little exclusive bonus at the back. It's just questions for Ella and Reed. And then I also got this box from Red Tower. I already got this box, but it was with the ARC. This time though, it's with the finished copy. Here's the box again in case you didn't see my other haul. And then 
And inside is the book Assistant to the Villain by Hannah Nicole Mayer. The finished copy has these red sprayed edges. I also got this super cute box. It's got the illustration on the top of it and it says can they stop hating each other long enough to fall in love. Oh my gosh how cute is the inside of this box. They put a bunch of tropes from the book. It's You Again by Kate Goldbeck. There is some goodies in here. Some fake fall leaves. A I Heart New York shot glass. I got another pair of socks. It's from Out of Print. It's bookshelf socks. Of course here is a copy of the book You Again. I've only heard a little bit about this book but I think people are liking it. It's enemies to lovers. The main characters they instantly hate each other from the moment that they meet. They actually meet because they're both sleeping with the same woman and then when they see each other again Again, years later, after some horrible breakups, they become friends. So it's more like enemies to friends to lovers. They are friends without benefits. And that is not the only book in this box. It also came with When Harry Met Sally by Nora Ephron. So clearly, You Again is inspired by this. And then for some books that I did already unbox, I got these two Sophie Lark books. These are the new Bloom editions of Stolen Air and Savage Lover. So these are books two and three in the the Brutal Birthright series. I haven't read these yet. I've only read book one. Have not gone past that, but I will eventually. So book two is Stolen Air, and this is the amazing art print that came with it. It's a kidnapping mafia romance. The hero is a vicious gangster in Chicago and he abducts the heroine as his captive. And then book three is Savage Lover and this is the art print that came with it. It's about two people convinced they're unworthy of love until they meet each other. And I got this beautiful copy of Salt Kiss by Sierra Simone. This is her new release, the start of her new trilogy. It's the Lioness series, which was a spinoff of the new Camelot trilogy. It is another MMF romance and look at this beautiful page overlay inside the book. I don't think it's actually attached to the book but I'm having a hard time detaching it so I'll just leave it in there. And it also came with this beautiful art print. I also got sent some YA books. This one is The Name Drop by Susan Lee. It's got a beautiful illustrated cover. I love this style. So this is from the author of Soulmates and look at these cute little stickers that it came with. It's set during the summer in New York City where the two main characters are doing internships. The only thing is that their names get switched, like their positions at the internship get switched because they have the same Korean name. So instead of her working at the bottom of the ladder as a lowly intern, she's now a CEO in training and he gets her job which he's actually really happy about because he doesn't want to follow in his father's footsteps. And then the final thing that I got from a publisher is Cassandra Clare related. I have not read Cassandra Clare in ages but I still love her because I was obsessed with the Mortal Instruments series and the Infernal Devices series. Oh my god this is so hard to open. Okay so here is a cute little sparkly candle that I can literally lift out of its tin. A crown and arrow magnet and also this sword bookmark I guess. And then here's a copy of the book. Oh my gosh it's huge. I forgot how big her books can get. So it's Swordcatcher by Cassandra Clare. It's the first book in a brand new series I think. Two outcasts find themselves at the center of a world altering change in the start of a riveting epic fantasy series. It looks like it's completely different from the Mortal Instruments series but also look at these end papers. It's a map. Okay, so it's a brand new fantasy world. It is high fantasy with forbidden love, dangerous magic, and a secret that could break the kingdom. I'm curious if this is YA though. I feel like it's not, which is gonna be interesting. I guess I will add this to my TBR. The box also came with some amazing art prints. Oh my god, these are stunning. So these are the main characters. The girl I'm assuming is a heroine. I don't know who these characters are because I haven't read the book yet, obviously, but these art prints are so beautiful. Cassandra Clare always gets some amazing character art. Okay, so that was the last of the publisher stuff. Let me show you what some indie authors sent my way. Here I have a new K. Tucker fantasy romance. It's part of her Fate and Flame series. It's a Queen of Thieves and Chaos, which I believe is book three in the series. I've been holding off on reading the series just because I don't know when it's gonna end or how many books we're getting and I just can't deal with cliffhangers right now but it came with some really nice goodies inside. Here is a stunning page overlay 
and it also came with a bookmark and a sticker. This package is from Laura Pavlov. Oh my gosh, how cute is this pouch? It says, the world needs more cowgirls. So her newest release is Before the Sunset. It's a small town romance with fake dating between two best friends. He's an actor and she wants to get over her fiance. I got some cute little stickers here. This amazing t-shirt. It says, new original series, Big Sky Ranch. I am definitely gonna be using these as new pajamas. And then here is soap and hand cream. It says, happy fall y'all from the Bumpkin Pumpkin Cottonwood Cove Fall Festival made with love from soap and paper factory. This is so cute. And I also got this box from Pippa Grant. It's for her new book, The Gossip and the Grump. Okay, so inside the box, there's a cute little bee design. Here is a card with a lemon scone recipe, an adorable bee mug. I love this so much. It's got this honeycomb design on the outside and then you can see a little bee on the inside. I do love how the inside is all yellow. I am obsessed with this mug. There's also a steeped bag of coffee. I don't drink coffee so I might give it to my parents. Cute little dog sticker. I think this is a Saint Bernard. And of course the book The Gossip and the Grump. It's got the cute little dog on the cover. It's about the heroine's family's mountain cafe that has just been sold to the hero and he wants to revamp everything. And he also just happens to be the one-night stand that the heroine met a week prior. It sounds so fun and I definitely need to read it. And then for the last of my books, okay, so I got a copy of Things We Left Behind by Lisey Score because I got to go see her at her signing at the Ripped Bodice last month. I'm pretty sure it was last month. September was kind of a blur for me, but I did get to see Lucy and I am doing an interview with her on YouTube. By the time I put this out, I think I'll have already done the interview so you can go check it out. But this is the final book in the Knock Em Out series. It's Lucian and Sloane's book and it was so fun. I enjoyed it so much and I'm so sad that the series is over now. And then I ended up buying a hardcover of Lover Enshrined by J.R. Ward. I have been slowly collecting all of the Black Dagger Brotherhood hardcover books. I only have one more book left. I have to get Lover Eternal book two. But I was able to find everything else and I'm still not really holding out hope that the first three books are going to be reprinted. J.R. Ward has said that for like 10 years, I feel like. So at this point, it's probably not happening. But yes, I got the second to last Black Dagger Brotherhood hardcover that I need for my collection. I did get some books from my friends too. This one is from my friend Desiree. She has a channel. I'll link her down below. She's been unhauling stuff, so I got her copy of Pretend Your Mind by Lucy Score. I have so many Lucy Score books I still need to read. I've only read her Knock 'em Out series and also By a Thread, so a bunch of her other books are still new to me. And she has so many, which I'm super excited about. But this one is another small town romance, and this time it's got fake dating. I also got this box of books from my friend Kimberly. She went to a book signing and she helped me get some signed books, but she also sent along some historical romances. This one is one of my favorites, The Madness of Lord Ian Mackenzie by Jennifer Ashley. I do want a copy of this edition, but it's like in really rough condition, so I wanted a better one. And then I also got two Eloisa James historical romances with some step backs. So this one is Duchess by Night, and this is what the step back looks like. And the other one is a Duke of her own, and here is the step back. It feels like it's been forever since I showed off a step back in a book haul. I used to do that so often when I was collecting historical romances back when the pandemic started. 2020 was truly my historical romance collecting era. But anyway, these are the books that my friend got signed copies of, two books that I absolutely love. One of my new favorites this year is Glitch by Brianna Michaels. It is so hot, so romantic. This hero is everything. I loved his obsession with the heroine. It's a gaming romance. The main characters are gaming buddies. They've never met in real life until they finally do and it is so hot between them. And then the other book, which I actually already own, but I just wanted to sign copy of it. It's A Lady of Rooks Creek Manor by Catherine Moon, which is one of my favorite monster romances, one of my favorite reverse harem, why choose romances, and it also came with this amazing art print of the characters. And then finally, my special edition book haul. I don't know if people skip to the end of my videos or just go straight to the special edition part, but if you do, I totally don't blame you. But the best special edition book that I got last month that I am still so in love with and can't stop admiring 
is the special edition of the Mindfuck series by ST Abbey. This is from Mystic Box and it is absolutely stunning. So here is what the front cover looks like. The spine with the knife and then the back cover, the foil of the silhouettes. So pretty. And then this is what the sprayed edges look like. I absolutely love how this turned out. And then these are the end papers at the front of the book. It's got ST Abbey's digital signature because the author did pass away. These are the back end papers. And then let me show you the naked hardcover, which is equally stunning, if not more. I am in love with the whole design of the special edition. I love all the silver foiling. It is so, so pretty. Such an amazing edition for one of my all-time favorite books. It is an incredible dark romance series. And I love that Mystic Box went all out for this very beloved author. I also got the latest Hello Lovely Box trope of the month book. I don't remember which trope this is. Let me double check. Oh, it's the Silver Fox trope, so an older hero. He's also the heroine's new landlord. So it's got a cute simple cover, but I do adore the strawberry on the back. I also stopped by at my local Walmart to grab a special edition of From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Walmart and Target have these new special editions. You can only get them in stores. I love it. I love the embossing, the foiling. It looks really nice. I also got this beautiful hardcover from Dark and Quirky. This is Heartless by Elsie Silver. This is like a replacement book for another previous special edition that didn't work out. Here is what the special edition cover looks like. This one is currently my favorite book in the Chestnut Spring series. I mean, I've only read the first two, but I do love Heartless. And it's also got some gorgeous metallic sprayed edges. And then the final books for this book haul are my new special editions from Bell Book Box. This is their Jennifer Hartman box and these books are stunning. First off, here are the stickers that came with it. The first one says introverted but willing to discuss books. This one says I'm great in bed, I can read for days. And then this last sticker says I have enough books, said no one ever. And then these are the beautiful Jennifer Hartman special editions. It's her heart song duet. So book one is an an optimist guide to heartbreak. It's got all this pink and silver foiling. It is so so nice and then the edges are metallic too. It's got like foiled edges. Book two is a pessimist guide to love. This one has all the blue and silver and then the edges have that blue metallic detailing. But side by side these two look so so nice. The spines match up really well and then the metallic foiled edges. I honestly don't know how this works, but it turned out really great. And that's it for my wrap-up for September. This is everything that I got last month, all the books and packages that I got last month. If you read any of these books that I mentioned, let me know your thoughts. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!